Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Don't Die in the West, which as well as just generally being a good piece of advice overall, is also an open world Wild West survival game, and the way it was described to me in the email I received about it is really quite brilliant indeed, so I thought I'd share that with you all. In the email about this game it says, the game is similar to Stardew Valley, beefed up with a Tarantino plot, more danger, wackiness, and a thirst to get your late uncle some revenge. And that is quite the description. I think we can all agree. Stardew Valley Tarantino style with additional wackiness sounds amazing. So I thought we absolutely had to go and have a little look at this one to see what exactly is going on. Now, this is an early beta build of the game. The game itself is due out into early access at the end of the year, I believe, according to the Steam Store page. But you can join in the playtest on Steam if you'd like to. As always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description so you can go and check the game out and on there there's a button to request access to the playtest if you want to give it a little go. But anyway, let's get on with it shall we? Time to saddle up and try not to die in the west. Oh this is wonderful, so the very first thing we have to do is design our character, that's very exciting. Okay right, so I mean can we choose our hat? I imagine we can because that's a very exciting sort of cactus hat. I'd like a proper Wild West hat if we could. Um, okay, so this is our head shape, is it? Um, okay, pear, mango, pear or mango. Okay, let's have a mango-shaped head. And our eyes are on croissant, black opals, black diamonds. They're quite adorable. Uh, or back to that. Okay, let's have the black diamonds. Because they've got little kind of shiny bits on them and little kind of sticky out bits. That's fun. Right, ears. I can't quite see our ears. So toast... Oh, croissant. I like the way that the sort of the choices you get are slightly bizarrely named. I mean, I've never looked at anybody's ears and thought, do you know what? They look like croissants or they look like toast. But OK, we'll have toast ears and then we've either got a pyramid nose or a button nose or a taco nose. OK, let's go for a button nose and skin colour. Uh, what can we have? What can we have? Let's go. I'm just going to press it. Uh, I'm just going to shut my eyes and just keep clicking. And whatever we end up with, that's what we'll go for. Yep, there we go. That will do. Right, and then we can have... Uh, here we go. Here's our hairstyle. So at the moment, we've got sunrise. Okay. So hang on. Can we... Where's our hat? Um, okay, hat. For now, can we just... Um, there you go. No hat, because I want to look at our hair. Okay, that looks... I quite like that. That's quite magnificent. But okay, so that's a ponytail. That's... <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Hang on. Do we name the character? Yes, we can name the character. Okay. Okay. I wonder if we bring back Betty. Can we bring back Betty Boom to go and dish out some Justice Wild West style? I think that could be what we do. Um, yeah. Okay. So hang on. Uh, that's, that's okay. It's not very exciting. That's not very exciting either. That's, uh, I mean, as hairstyles go, that's not overly exciting because there's no hair in any style. Um, oh, we're back to that one. I quite like that one. I like that. And do you know what? Let's keep it that colour. Um, eyebrows, leafy, cobra, bricks. Okay, we'll go back to leafy. And can we have it in the, hang on, can we have them like that as well? And then a beard. If we're playing Betty... I think we have no beard, although clean-shaven does look, it looks good anyway. What are the other ones? Slugs or clean-shaven? Oh, okay, not much choice in terms of your moustache. You can't have a big sort of droopy cowboy moustache or whatever. So, yeah, I think we go for that. That looks okay. Um, and then, yes, outfit, strider. Okay, rancher, rancher blue. Oh, yes, it's sort of geek of corporate colours. Bear tracker. Let's look at kind of a scout uniform type thing. Church Sunday. No, we're not going to go for that. Pony whisperer or strider. Where's the blue one? That one. Rancher blue. And then very importantly, the hat options. So we can either have a wooden bucket hat, which I'll admit, I mean, all hats are good hats. That's not my favourite one. I will be honest. A spiky hat or no hat. Oh, we can't have a proper cowboy hat. Oh, I'm so saddened. Okay, we'll have a wooden bucket hat, please. Because that does have a little bit of charm to it. That's quite fun. And um, yeah, okay. So the default name is Glent Stetson, which is a wonderful sort of uh, a wonderful cowboyish name. What are the random ones that come up? Oh, it randomizes the person, not the name. Botheration. <laughs> 
Right, hang on. I'm just going to go and, and just go rebuild Betty. I thought random was the name, not everything. What a nuisance. Right, hang on. Let me just go and regenerate Betty. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Betty's back. Welcome back, Betty. However, in terms of her name, I think we have to have the surname Stetson. I think that's a given thing the game is forcing us to have because I can't delete that. I can't remove that at all. The surname Stetson just remains there. So I think we have to be somebody Stetson. Maybe that's kind of you know, in the game text or whatever. It's going to go, hey, you, Stetson. So it can just you know put a default name in or whatever so we're gonna have betty boom stetson i think that sounds quite good i did try to put boom in quotes so it could be sort of like a nickname type thing but no it didn't let us do that but there we go so boom can be her nickname so she's called betty stetson but everyone knows her as boom possibly i quite like that so there we go wonderful betty is ready for another adventure okay we have a letter from our uncle howard now normally in games like this uncle characters tend to give you property they give you the pub or the factory or the shop or whatever so maybe uncle howard is going to give us a ranch or something betty boom you gotta come to wild river hop on the next stagecoach heading west i need you to take care of the ranch there we go he's going to give us a ranch i won't lie this is not how i pictured a reunion but i need your help this place ain't much but it's all i've got it's rough out here you got stets and blood so i'm sure you'll be all right safe travels uncle howard yeah, okie doke, Uncle Howard, that sounds fine. Let's go and help you deal with this ranch. I mean, we're more into kind of blowing things up and, you know, explodey stuff, but we can do some ranching as well, maybe. So let's see how we get on. Okay, here we go. So there we are in the middle of the screen, just kind of spinning around. There's Betty with her wonderful bucket hat on. However, what are we supposed to do exactly, game? I was kind of expecting a little sort of list of things to achieve to appear somewhere, maybe over there, but no. We're just kind of left out here in the Wild West on our own to deal with it. Um, okay, let's have a little move around, shall we? I mean, can we pick things up? There's a rock there. Ah, right, okay, so collect that rock. That might be useful. Can we pick up that stick? That's going to be handy as well. It's a branch. Can we pick that thing up? That is some grass, possibly. Some straw. Okay, that could be useful. Can we pick that up? No, we can't pick that thing up. Okay, so collect that. So what exactly do we have going on? What can we work out? So we've got 100 health points. That's quite good. We've got some sort of meal counter thing on there. Not quite sure how that works. Currently, it's sort of, what, the middle of the day-ish, possibly? There's a map. And then we've got all these things over here that I'm not quite sure what they do. Tab is inventory. So at the moment, yeah, we've got a stone, a branch, some straw, and our hat. Okay, right, so we haven't got much in the world. Let's go over here and pick up some more stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, collect that, that's fine. I mean, there's quite a lot of that around. There's a lot of straw, but maybe we need a lot of that to, I don't know, make a straw bed or something. I don't know, I'm sure it's all going to be useful. Um, what's that? Is that a path? Is that a road of some kind? That looks like a path. There's a chicken. Can we go and get the chicken? Hello, chicken. Can we claim you as our own? No, in fact, you're going to shove us out the way. Betty Boom is not impressed with the shovey chicken. Uh, okay, right. Let's pick up a few more things, shall we? Uh, let's grab that. Um, I mean, what direction do we go in? Which direction do we head? There are signs, but the signs are in sort of in gibberish. Oh, hey, you there. Hello. Oh, hang on. We can read the sign if we go up to it. Tumbleville. I think that's where we're supposed to go. I think I heard Uncle talk about this place. Yeah, I think so as well, because it's on the... Um, oh, hang on. We've not finished talking. Hang on. Go back to where the speech bubble is. wonder what kind of bus in Metropolis we'll find. Um, yeah, that was mentioned on the Steam store page, I think. So I think we have to go in that direction. However, there's somebody up here. Hello. How are you? Hey, you there. Uh, yeah, hello. I'm here. I'm right in front of you. Do you have any comments? Um, on what? On the state of Wild River. The bandits, the feral coyotes, dot, 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 evil corporations, kidnappings, the haunted mines. Um, I'm outraged. I'm sad to hear it. I think I'm okay with those things. I need to think about that. Um, I'm sad to hear it. I'm sad to hear about all the terrible things. Dot, dot, dot. It's clearly upsetting for this lonely ranger. Tears start streaming down. I'm not that sad. I just don't like bandits. I'm so afraid of bandits, they cry. Cut it out. Just a second. Who are you anyway? I'm new to Wild River, but I guess I'm an adventurer, a rancher, a loose cannon, a prospect. Oh, no, an adventurer, definitely. We're on adventure. Interesting. Writes notes. And what brings you to the area? I'm here to make a name for myself. I'm here to find out what happened to my uncle, to have a good time, or to kick bandits and chew tobacco. Let's be honest. I'm here to find out what happened to my uncle. 
Ooh, a mystery. Exciting, Scribbles knows. Who are you? Can I ask you about all the bad stuff that you mentioned? See you around. I mean, who are you? Are you some sort of reporter? You're taking a lot of notes. Who are you? Uh, Sally Walcott, reporter of the Inkwell Inquirer. Yes, you are a reporter. What's a reporter doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It's a good question. This is the front line of news. Yeah, it looks wildly exciting. I mean, there was an angry chicken. There was a shovey chicken over there. Go and write a story on that. Okay, so dot dot dot. I drew the short straw. I'm still trying to prove myself. I need to find my story. Gives you an elevator look. What's an elevator? Oh, up and down. I see. <laughs> Very good. Hey, maybe you could be my story. What do you say? Uh, yeah, all right. Why not? I'm game. Let's go for it. Excellent. What do I have to do? Just going to tell you about all of your adventures. I can't wait. Good luck. I mean, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. But okay, we'll pop back and just tell you about stuff at some point. Um, okay, maybe while we're on the way, pick up a few more things. There's some rocks there. Never a bad thing to grab some rocks as we go by. Uh, yeah, we are actually picking all this stuff up. So at some point, we might be sort of, um, you know, over encumbered or whatever. Uh, can we get anything from that little tree there? Can we get branches from it? No. Okay, so let's just kind of, I don't know, keep going down this road. It's quite big. I was expecting us to just turn up and go, hey, uncle, how are you? There's a snake. Oh, there's a snake. And a horse. Okay. Right, so we're just going to kind of um, wobble our way over here. We'll pick up more stones as we go. We haven't got much in the way of sticks. We've got plenty of rocks and plenty of, sort of straw or whatever it is, but we haven't got much in the way of sticks. Hang on, hang on. Wait there, thieves. Yeah, hang on. There's a stick there that I want to get my hands on. Thank you so much. Um, Right, yeah. Hello. Can I help you? Help! My horse. They stole her. Okay, that's not going to help with the whole wagon thing, is it? My beautiful horse. She must be so scared. Who stole your horse? Those bandits. They think they own the land and they can take whatever they want. Oh, if I did not have dermatitis, I will sure would show them. <laughs> it's a very debilitating condition. It's true. I'm sure it is. So, could you help? Um, yeah, do you know what? Of course, stranger. Absolutely. Thank you kindly. I don't have much, but I'll give you my treasure if you bring her back safe for me. Okay. So, where do I start looking? They went east following the road. Hope we didn't get too far. Okay. So, I'm assuming that the the mini map is, is pointing in the uh, sort of compass points. So east is this way? Well, hang on. I said east following the road, but the road is down here and east. Is it? Are we on a road? Uh, according to that, we're on a road, but I'm not entirely convinced that we're on a road properly. Okay, hang on. There's a there's a thing. Can we get? Can we move the camera around? Can we turn the camera? Uh, oh, oh no! I've pressed Q to try and turn the camera. We can build a chair. A bonfire or a camp chair. Okay, that's not what I wanted to happen. How do we come out of that? I was trying to figure out if we can get through here. Oh, they, the things disappear. Okay, that's fine. So we can walk into this sort of canyon bit. Um, okay, I'm not 100% convinced that I'm going in the right direction. Oh, hang on. Hang on. They look sort of like bandits. We haven't got anything to fight bandits. I think we can just sort of, we can try and punch them possibly. And it is Betty Boom. So yeah, she is quite good at doing the punching. But um, I think, I think they're going to be better armed than us. There's quite a lot of them as well. There's three of them and, or potentially three. I can see two there. One just wandered off. There's one there and he's got a gun. In fact, they've all got guns. They've all got guns. Okay, right. Um, Is this going to be a terrible idea? Can we just sneak around the back and get the horse? <laughs> they don't need to know. It's getting cold. I should maybe head back or set up camp. Head back where? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Are we supposed to do some crafting? Right, hang on. So this is all kind of building stuff. This is all... I mean, what's that there? A tool workbench requires planks and copper bars. Log chair. A bonfire. Keep you warm. So four wood. Um, I mean, there's a bit of wood there. But do we need, do we need, say, an axe to chop that up, possibly? Do we need an axe to sort of chop that wood up? I'm not quite sure what we do. That's skills. Okay, we've got skills in basic stuff. So we can use an axe. Deal 1.2 more damage with your axe, it says. But I don't know how we get an axe. Nothing going on there. Uh, that's the build menu. That's, oh, crafting. Ah, here we go. A stone axe. 
Okay, craft one of those, please. That might be quite useful. Okay, well, we've made a stone axe. How do we equip the stone axe? Do we... Okay, we're hitting wood with our hands. Um, how do we equip? How do we equip the axe? Uh, yeah, we've made it, which is good. That's fine. Um, how do we then equip it upon our person? It's a voyage of discovery, this. Uh, yeah, job number one, figure out how to hold an axe. Um, is it in there, possibly? Do we have to sort of equip it into here? Did we even make the axe? I'm fairly sure we made it, but we press tab and it doesn't appear anywhere. So I'm not quite sure. And it's going to get to night time and we might potentially possibly die of cold because I can't get any branches. Yeah, cold's building up. Okay, yeah, we're quite cold and I don't know how to put a campfire or do anything else. Okay, <laughs> what if we go over here and just have a chat with these guys and try and get around their campfire? Hey, guys. I'm just going to come around your camp. Okay, they're, oh, they're, they're fighting. Oh, we're going to, oh, right. I suspect maybe we've just died. Yeah, they've got guns. We haven't got guns. Okay, right. So now we're out in the middle of nowhere. It's cold and there's a terrifying red-eyed monster thing over there. Okay, I don't know how to equip the axe we've got. <laughs> how do, we made an axe. I'm fairly certain we made the axe. But I, I don't know how to equip it. And now we're going to die of cold, possibly. Okay, can anybody... Is there a place where it's warm? Um, and we can pick up some of that. Yay for that. Um, yeah, we're now taking health damage. We're taking health damage. Um, I don't want to go near that. Because that looks a bit scary, to be honest. Um, is there anything around here which we could potentially use to either hide in? Uh, we'll collect some straw. We'll collect some sticks. Can we hide in this thing? Oh, the chicken coop is destroyed. Can we go in it? Can we go inside? Because it might keep us warm. Uh, hang on. Pick up many, many, many things. Hang on. I'm just going to pick up lots of things. So can we, can we then do any kind of crafting again? So where was that? In there. Uh, that's a map. So in here, we need another branch. So one more branch means that we can make a stone axe, which I thought we'd already made. But clearly we have not. Right, okay. Can we go on a quest to find a branch? Come on, there must be a... There's a branch. There's a branch there. Ooh. <gasps> and a hat. Can we have the hat? I mean, okay, it's on a grave. But can we possibly have the hat? Talk. Uncle? What happened? What did you get yourself into? Um. Oh. That's our uncle? What? <laughs> okay, right. It's not gone well for our uncle. And it's not gone well for us either. We've been shot to death and now we're freezing to death. Wonderful. Yay for this. Um. I'll find out what happened to you. I will find out what happened to you. We're going to work that out. Um, dot, dot, dot. There must be someone in these parts who knew you. Oh, that's a bit sad. However, can we now go into there? Right. We're going to do this. We're going to press craft on a stone axe. Right. So it's going to go boop, boop, boop. Now it's made it. Oh, hang on. It's there. Oh, I didn't realise it was there. I thought that was a branch. Okay, right. We've had the axe the entire time. Everything's fine. It's all good. <laughs> Botherations. Okay. So equip the axe, and now can we chop down trees? Okay, this is going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. I know how to survive in the Wild West. It's good. Right. Ooh, axe skill's gone up, and now we've chopped down a tree, and aha, right. So that's what we've got to do. So we've chopped the tree down. Let's maybe go to this tree here. Chop and chop the big tree. So there we go. That tree can just kind of come down. That's fine. I can't believe I didn't notice that that was there. <laughs> I thought that was just a piece of straw or a stick or something. Hadn't kind of put the two and two together and realised that we were holding it down here. I kind of just saw it as another one of those. It doesn't look very axe-like, to be fair, to, to you know, for, in my defence. Okay, so now can we build ourselves a bonfire? Okay, so put that there and we can stand around here and we can be a bit warm. Okay, we're now warm. Right, we're not cold anymore, so that's a positive thing. Um, okay, what else can we craft? Can we craft the stone pickaxe? Okay, so craft one of those and note where it's going to appear down here. Okie doke. So now, got a stone axe and another one in reserve, but that one looks like it's falling apart quite quickly, so that's not too bad. And a stone pickaxe. Okay, so now what do we do? Where's the ranch? If our uncle's body is over there, is this the ranch that we're at right now? Are we just at the ranch and it's just completely fallen apart? I'm not really sure. Okay, what else can we build then? So a chair. 
Oh, hang on. We could build a little chair. Let's put a chair down. Can we sit in the chair? Sit. Hang on. Uh, yes. I want to hang on. I want to sit in the chair, please. Cook. No. Sit there. We. Oh, <laughs> OK. We can just sit in our chair and wait until morning. I think morning might be rolling around, actually. I think it might be morning time. Yay. OK, right. So morning has come round. How do we get out of the chair? Uh, right. We've got a little kind of tiny base of operations. So what else can we build in here? So a camp chair. I think we might need a tools workbench. So we can make a new axe, shovels, pickaxes or fishing rods. However, that's going to require copper and all sorts of stuff. Uh, bookshelf, can't make any furniture. And that's just, yeah, that's kind of like house bits. But they require planks. OK, a wooden floor made by sturdy planks fresh from the sawmill. We don't have a sawmill quite yet. We're not at that point where we have a sawmill. Um, OK, right. Let's go and wander then. Let's go and see what else we can find. Because yeah, let's go and head over in that direction. So the guy, that's where the bandits are. We know the bandits are in there. Um, let, do you know what? Let's get the, um, let's get the pickaxe out and let's smash that rock part. Let's see what happens when we do that. We just get, oh, we just get more stone. Okay, that's fine. That's sort of to be expected. Um, yeah, let's head up here then. Because we didn't go up here. Oh, hang on. There's a very useful stick right there. We shall take that. Uh, yeah, we'll head over in that direction and see what's up there. Because I don't know what's up here either. And at some point, we are going to have to maybe possibly try to get some food. Because I guess we're going to start getting hungry at some point. But we seem to be okay for now. There are some boxes there. There are some crates. Can we, okay, how about we just smash them into pieces? Yay, right, smash them into pieces. Oh, there's food. There's food. Okay, right, so collect all that stuff and pick up all those things. It looks like um, apples, I think. Yeah, three apples. Okay, so if we go into here and then we can right-click to eat an apple. Okay, so we ate an apple. Okay, right, that, I mean, that's good. Yay for food and such. Um, I mean, yeah, what are we supposed to do <laughs> What do we do here? There's like a a mining thing. Oh no, it's just a it's just a little kind of um, lantern hanging on a sort of you know temporary sort of street sign type thing. Uh, there's something here. I need to know how to move the camera around to be honest, because that's a bit weird. I can collect bird feathers and things, and then there's a box there. Um, hang on, I'm gonna go try and figure out what the controls are to move the camera about because it's a bit weird with it looking like that because I can't really see what I'm doing with that box. Hang on, how do we rotate the camera? Okay, there's no key mappings in the game just yet, so I don't know how to rotate the camera. However, on the map, there is a thing over there. Is that the bandit camp that we just went to? Is that that? I thought they were more in there. What's that just there? What is that just there? There's some sort of building there. Are we supposed to head toward that possibly? Is that where we should have gone? I think we started in there, did we? And we kind of went along there. That's where we saw the journalist, I think. And then we've come up that way. So we're we supposed to go down there. Maybe we have to go just there. I don't know. OK, well, first things first, though. We'll try and smash that apart and I'll try and pick up whatever there is. A stone axe, a red saddlebug recipe. I don't know what that means, but OK, that could be useful. And then that just there, that's some raw meat. Can we smash these things apart? And we get a prickly pear from those. OK, right. I think then. Oh, hang on. There's a feather over there. We'll have that as well. Thank you. I think. Hang on. Oh, we can dash. We can dash a little bit by pressing shift. Oh, OK, that's quite useful. Um, yeah, I think we'll try and head toward that thing. Let's head toward that, um, that little kind of house marker thing. And we've increased our movement skill. Yay for us. That's very. Here we go. There's a house. Here's the ranch which I was supposed to find. Oh, it, <laughs> we set up just here. That's where we set up. And the ranch was just there. It was just there. Uh, OK, right. We might have possibly missed something very obvious. Oh, look, with a load of resources around it. Home, sweet. Uh, holy dang, this is a mess. It really is a mess, isn't it? Um, press space to dash forward. Oh, yeah, we do a sort of dramatic dash. Um, that's a weird tumbleweed ball. Right, so are we supposed to repair this? Is that job number one? Have we actually got a purpose to repair this building? So, uh, yeah, there's a chicken, collect a bird feather, collect Howard's to-do list. That's what we're talking about. Let's smash that apart for now. Uh, we'll take the stuff out of it, whatever that might be. Iron bars, rope. Okay, all useful things. Rope and iron bars. Right, where's that letter then? There was a letter. 
Okay, so Uncle Howard's to-do list. Let's read that. Get proper tools. Okay, well, making a ranch number one. Okay, so get proper tools, learn your craft, find master crafters, learn how to build work tables, build a new chicken coop, get chickens, remember a lasso. What, for roping in chickens? Get a horse, or a donkey, build a new homestead. Last things. I know Annabelle is weird, but she's tougher than you think. Stay so from Bandits and Grit Corp. And then in bigger, sort of bolder letters, it says, Find Nayati. Okay, I don't know who that is. Good luck, slash Uncle Howard. Uh, okay, right, so get proper tools, learn your craft, it just says. I mean, can we not have something slightly more useful than that? <laughs> I don't know how to do many things, Uncle Howard. Uh, oh, follow the tracks. We have a quest log. Okay, we've got a quest log, apparently. Is that in there? Uh, oh, no, that's some sort of skills thing. Oh, hang on. We've got three. Oh, we've picked up three sort of skill points, and I think we can invest them. Okay, deal 1.2 more damage with your axe. Yeah, let's get a strong arm with that. And I imagine if we then get that unlocked, we can move on to unlocking further things. So we'll learn that. And there we go. Right, so that is perfect axe technique. That uses less stamina when using the axe. And that's perfect axe technique too. Uh, less durability. Ah, okay. So that means the axe will last a bit longer. Do you know what? Will it? Hang on. We've got movement as well. What does that do? Reduce stamina cost by 0.97 when sprinting. So that means we can sprint around a bit more and not get quite so tired. Um, I think we're okay for that. Do you know what? Let's make our axe a bit more durable. That's got to be a good thing. And I've got no little kind of star point things left, but that's okay. Uh, right, that's the map. Hang on, where was the where was the quest log? Right, the runaway, follow the tracks. It seems like something broke free from the enclosure. Um, oh, there's something over there. There's something just there. There's a shiny thing in the ground. Okay, what's that then? Um, right. Can we whack it? No. We need... It says follow the tracks. Uh, oh, are these the tracks? Hang on, are we supposed to look for another one of those now? Is that what we're supposed to do? I can't zoom in or out, so I can't see if this is the right way that we're going. Um, I've got... And there's the bandits. The bandits are only over there, and they killed us to death last time, so let's not go over there, because that could be quite bad. Um, follow the tracks. What tracks game? <laughs> Give us a bit more than that. I don't I don't know what you mean. Is that a track? Are we supposed to do something with that pile of stuff? I really don't know. We are picking up quite a lot of other stuff, which I suppose is useful. Um, are the tracks in this direction? Is there another one of those? Uh, I don't know. Can we build some sort of shovel? Oh, there's another building here. There's a person. Hello. Um, hi. Right, we're just going to go and wake you up. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a little sort of thing over here. We should have possibly just come here first. This would have helped, wouldn't it? There's, um, stuff around here. We'll have that. What's that? Whiskey. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the chicken coop. All this stuff was right next to us and we just didn't see it all. Oh, dear. Uh, right. Okay, we'll pick all that up. There's somebody over there. Hello. Can you help us? Right, they're asleep, obviously. Ah! Are you Annabelle? Or whoever was mentioned in that letter. Who are you? Um, I'm Betty Boom. Who are you? Whoa, you scared me. I'm Annabelle. Like, Anna. Ding dong. Bell. Yeah, I, I got you. I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here, Annabelle? I'm looking for my uncle, Howard Stetson. Have you seen him? I mean, we know where he is. Howard's in the ground over there somewhere. Um, We'll go for that one. I'm looking for my uncle. She can break the news. Mr. Stetson is your uncle. So you must be the very smart and resourceful relative from the East who will fix everything. I mean, we've not got off to a great start with that. We've not done very well with that, but we'll try. I guess? Oh boy, I can't wait to see you fix everything. You might be waiting a while. Wait, I'm still confused. Why is a kid sleeping in my uncle's barn? I'm here to... Uh, I was going to... Uh, what was that? Oh, just my tummy. It does it all the time growl. See, you'll get used to it. Annabelle, how long has it been since you ate? Oh, I can't remember. I feel dizzy. Um, okay, I'll go and grab us some food. It's fun. Oh, gee, thank you. Uh, wait, what do people eat around here? Anything you can cook over a fire. There are a lot of hares in the area. Yum. 
Oh, I can just make a slingshot. Okay, that would be useful. You're going to need to make rope first and pebbles for shooting. Growl. I'm going to sit down. Okay, so read the slingshot recipe. Okay, I'll be right back. So read the slingshot recipe, which is there. So learn that. Okay, so now we can make a slingshot. There was another recipe as well, a red saddle rug. Okay, so do that. So research all these. So yeah, we know how to make that. Okay, right, this is fine. So shooting pebbles. So where's crafting again? Uh, no, that's not that crafting. Which is the crafting for us? C. Okay, so rope we can make out of straw. So we can make quite a bit of rope. That's quite good. Slingshot is branch and rope, which we can definitely make. Okay, this is good. This is good. And then we can make some pebbles. Okay, do you know what? Plenty of stone. Let's make a few of these. Let's just craft a few of these things. Um, we'll leave a bit of stone for building, but that should be okay. Right, then I think if we can put that down into slot one, possibly. Can we drag that into slot one? Because that's a bit more useful, let's be honest. Right, tools and stuff down here. Put that in like that. Okie doke. Right, hang on. And food may be at the end there, because that could be useful as well. Prickly pear, bit of raw meat, and then the whiskey. Okay, so now she's just kind of sitting over there. So what have we got to do with the thing now? So it was J for the journal. So Annabelle's growl, hunt some hair. Uh, okay, right. So follow that one. Oh, we're just following the... Oh, I thought it meant... When it said follow, I thought it was literally a follower, like a path or something. But no, it just means like track that track that kind of quest thing. Right, okay. So, how do we fire a rock? Oh, okay. Like that. Oh, that I feel a bit mean. I feel a bit mean. Hang on. We're, I'm really... So, there's a load of meat over here. Can we just have this and not have to resort to the whole sort of murdering thing? Hair foot. Oh, Something's already been over here killing the hares. So, do you know what? We won't go and get another one. We'll just we'll just leave them to it. It's fine. There you go. Hare, you, you've had an extension of life. It's fine. Uh, right, so if we then sprint back this way, we've got... I mean, could we potentially build a campfire in the middle of here? I know we've got one up there, but could we build one over here? That would make sense. Um, how do we go about doing that? C, wasn't it? Uh, oh no, that's our own stuff. It's Q to do that, isn't it? Uh, we need another piece of wood. That's fine. We can do that. There's a big old tree there. Let's get rid of that tree. There's going to be a lot of wood in that tree, I imagine. So choppity choppity chop. Our axe is slowly falling apart, but there we go. Right, that's down. And then just whack it and pick up all the goodies. Okay, wonderful. Um, right, we'll have all that. Thank you. And then if we go to there, we can put a campfire right in the middle come out of that and then we can go and do some cooking so cook uh roasted rat we haven't got any rat roasted prickly pear we could do because we have got one of those and then we can just do a lot of roasted meat because we've got quite a bit of raw meat we found one bit and then we've got all the other stuff we just picked up so okay let's just do a big old load of cooking might as well cook it all because not really much else with it and you know what? while we're there Let's make one piece of charcoal, just so we've got some charcoal. Okay, Annabelle, hello, I've got food. Hi again. I, the people in this are very, very wonderful. Uh, that grave up there, that can't be him. Well, who else? Maybe a pet chicken? Maybe he just likes crosses? Yeah, okay, but I have to know for sure. I will avenge his death. Uh, maybe he just likes crosses. We'll go for that. Dot, dot, dot. It's okay. I'm sad about it too. Hold me, Annabelle. Let us hug. Uh, maybe it's a pet chicken. I assure you, he did not bury dead chickens because they went to another farm. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, of course. Okay. I, do you know what? I will avenge his death. I'm really sorry, you know. Thanks. Now, why are you sleeping in his barn? I... Um, uh, right. I'll be right back with food. I, I have... I've got food here. How do we give you the food? Hi again. Um, right, give roasted meat. I got some roasted meat for you. Okay, thank you so much. That was delicious. Can you please tell me now what's going on? Alrighty, what do you want to know? Where is Uncle Howard? That grave up there, that can't be him. Yeah, okay, who else? Um, I have to know for sure. I'm really sorry, you know. We've been down this road before. Okay, thanks. Now, why are you sleeping in his barn? I was waiting for the relative from the yeast. Okay, that's, that's us. Hello. Uh, Mr. Howard left me a note. It specifically told me 
to stay put, find you, and give you this. What is this? The deed to Stetson Ranch. Oh, finally. I'm not sure. I'm just a kid. But Mr. Howard seemed worried. Hmm. Just a second. I'll read it. Okay. That would seem sensible. Read the deed. Um. Hi again. Uh. Hang on. I thought I was going to read. Hang on. Maybe I was too near to her. Right. Read the deed. Deed to the Stetson's Ranch. By the law of the Conveyance Act... Howard Stetson hereby takes over the land of South Walden for Plains from Tumbleville Road to Rattler's Path, henceforth known as the Stetson Ranch. Okay, if the owner of the land fails to construct a functioning ranch before the Eastern Railroad reaches Tumbleville, the deed will be annulled and the land sold to the highest bidder. Okay, so we have to build a functioning ranch before the Eastern Railroad reaches Tumbleville. And, oh, witnesses. Nayati Wild Driver. Nayati was on the list of people to find. Okay, so we now do own this. We're a little bit cold, but let's stand by the fire. Just get that cold down. And perfect, nice and warm. Okay, right. Hello. Hi again. How are you? Okay, he gave me the deed to the ranch. Wow, well, that makes sense. He said you were tough and smart. Yeah, we've not exhibited either of those yet, but okay. But the deed will be annulled. What am I going to do? What will happen when the railroad gets here and time is up? I need to start building, but I don't know any recipes. I need somewhere to store my things. Okay, I need to start building, but I don't know how to do anything at all. Please help me. There are great crafters in Wild River. You just need to look for them. Ask around in Tumbleville. Just follow the road north. Okay, I think that's where we go. We have to head up to Tumbleville. Um, I need somewhere to put my things. Try checking one of the crates in the barn. I think one of them has a recipe you can use. Ah, okay, that could be useful. Uh, what happens when the railroad gets here and time is up? If land is up for grabs, some rich person will snatch it. That's what they do. Absolutely. Apparently, the land is worth a lot. Uh, okay, the deal be annulled. Oh, that explains why Mr. Howard was so worried. A lot of people losing their land around here. When? When the Eastern Railroad gets here. Oh boy, the big choo-choo. They talked about the new railroad for ages. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm sure you'll do fine. Also, I think Mr. Howard left you some instructions. Maybe somewhere in the house? Yeah, we've picked those up. We've picked those up. Um, okay, so we've asked about the deed. The ranch is an estate, but... Okay, what about you? Annabelle. Anna, ding, da... Yeah, okay, Annabelle. Who are you? And why are you sleeping in his barn? Wild River is my home. I like animals. And I used to visit your uncle a lot. Ah, oh, okay. So where are your parents or guardians? Or oh, I'm not really sure, actually. My dad went to Westwood, but didn't come back. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I'm tougher than I look. I don't doubt it. Okay, so what, what's your favourite colour? Rainbow! Good, good choice. That's not a silence you. That's not a bad choice. I love rainbow colour too. One day I'm going to live in a rainbow house. That sounds nice. It sounds amazing, Betty. Uh, and where do you live now? Here and there. I use this barn once in a while. Uh, you're welcome to stay here. Gee, thanks. Okay, that'll do. That'll do, I think. See you later. So let's just pop into the um, into the barn for a second. Is there something around here in one of the crates? So, I mean, yeah, I don't know if we can open the crates. So then we have to destroy the crates, but that's fine. Right, so destroy, destroy. Pick up that. So pick up an egg. Wooden chest recipe. That's what we want. Okay, so hang on. So learn that and learn that. Okay, so now we can make a chest. So in here, possibly. Uh, there, wooden chest needs some more wood. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Hang on a second. Let me just go and chop down a few more trees. Okay, there we go. Bit of light deforestation, but now we've got some wood. So I think we can build a box, which is going to be good. So go into there, go into there. Right, a wooden chest. Yeah, we'll have one of those, please. And I mean, let's put it into the house. We'll put it in there for now. Invalid surface. Oh, no, hang on. I think it's, it thinks it's trying to build it on the roof. No, we'll put it there, look. Because that's at least a little bit kind of a little bit secured away. And now open that up and we can put all these things in it. So, uh, yeah, put that in it. Uh, oh, crikeys. Okay. It can't hold that much stuff. It can hold some of our recipes and that's kind of it. Oh, okay. That's that's way less than I thought it was going to be. Um, we'll put we'll keep Howard's to-do list on us, actually. How about we put an axe in there? Because we do have quite a lot of axes. We've got four of them, which is plenty. That is much in the way of the axe. So I think that's fine. Okay, so we've freed up some space. So I think then we head north. 
let's head north to Tumblewood, or whatever it was called, and then we'll come back after that and see what we can do back at the ranch. But yeah, if we head north and just try to pick up some sort of, I don't know, like building tips or whatever, then maybe that will help us out back at the ranch. Hang on a minute. We've got one shiny point thingamajig. Why don't we invest it in that just there? Reduces stamina when sprinting. Yeah, let's learn that, shall we? Run, forest, run. Very good. That's dashing. That's walking speed increased. That could be quite good. And that is less stamina when swimming. Okay, so we're going to be swimming at some point. But okie doke. Uh, right, yeah, is that the north road? Yeah, okay, right, so head along here and see if we can find a big town of some description. And there it is, Tumbleville, that's a cute name. I wonder if anyone knows Uncle Howard there. I imagine they might do. Let's go and read that sign. Rules for traffic in Tumbleville. No weapons, no public intoxication, no unprovoked fighting. It sounds very un-Wild West. Littering is prohibited. Visitors should always abide by the word of the sheriff if one is currently available. Okay, okay, right, that's fine. Another kind of bit of tumbleweed. Here we go. Oh, it's proper Wild West now. Lars's workshop. There's a saloon. That's where you go. If you want to go and ask about anybody, you go to the pub, don't you? And there I was, Nelly. Okay, hang on. We're just sort of ear-wigging on a conversation. Uh-huh. Oh, Nelly is the barkeep. Copper ore, as far as the eye can see. Dot, dot, dot. Right. It's, uh, hang on. I stuffed my pockets full of it. I couldn't walk. Okay. <laughs> okay, Larry. And where is this gold now? He didn't say gold, he said corporal. Well, uh, I, a ghost, it spooked me. <laughs> okay, right. Well, can you ask the ghost to pay your tab? I don't think it can. I think he might be fibbing, mutters curses. I thought, if you're cursed, that's where the ghost came from. Um, right, hello. Ooh, hold to play? <gasps> oh, yes, hang on, hang on. Is it playing the sort of proper saloon music? Hang on, let's have a listen. Yes, it is. It's a bit quiet, but yeah, it is playing it. That's very good. Uh, let's have a chat with you. Hello. Howdy. Oh, we said a Wild West thing. Howdy. <sighs> what do you want? What is this place? It's a damn saloon. Yeah, I don't know why we asked that, Betty. Come on. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Nelly. This is my place. What can I do for you? Okay, so where is everybody? The place seems to be dead. Do you know, Howard? What's up with the piano? Nothing's up with the piano. It's playing itself. It's perfectly fine. I need guns. I'm looking for Master Crafters. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's true. But do you know Howard Stetson? Ah, yes, I know old Howard. Any relation? Uh, he is, uh, was my uncle. Missing translation. Oh, uh, he sure was a character. Oh, okay, that was a bit weird. He sure was a character. I recall him being the best uncle. Or how did he die? Oh, well, let's find that out. How did he die? I have no idea. He had plenty of problems. Gambling, drinking. He was in all kinds of trouble. I recall him being the best uncle. I bet he was, kiddo. But this may be one of those don't meet your hero kind of things, you know. But you should really talk to Nayati. He knew how better than anybody. He lives on top of the mountain just north of here. Okay, that's a place to go. Um, okay, hang on. What about Master Crafters? We have a few of those. Anyone in particular? Uh, a carpenter. So I can build a house would be quite good. I'm looking for a carpenter. That'd be Lars. I haven't seen him for a while. Try his workshop just across the street. Okay, that's fine. Um, and a blacksmith while we're there. Yong has a blacksmith next door. She should be able to help you out. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we've got a couple of destinations. We can either go across the road to see Lars about wood stuff. And there was the other person over there. Right, okay, so let's go and have a chat with Lars. Um, although Lars isn't here. Follow Lars's trail. Looks like someone broke down the door. I wonder if the carpenter left something behind. Oh, that door is broken down. Yes, absolutely. That door is very broken down. Is And we're not going to rob him. We'll take that wood. Uh, oh, hang on. There's a sawmill. That's where we can make some lovely planks. And then we can use the planks as building material. Okay, we'll take those planks as well. And we might possibly accidentally just smash these things apart slightly. Oh, no, what a terrible shame. Uh, right, we're picking up whatever they are. Planks and wooden shafts. Okay, I assume important building materials. Right, you are. Uh, oh, okay, hang on. There's some nails. There are trails of nails. Okay, let's destroy these. We look, well, what Lars isn't here, so we can't see. Um, and then, yeah, there's a nail there. So you follow these. 
we might find where they've got to. Okay, there's another one over there. Right, let's follow the nail trail. Okay, our movement skill has increased. That's quite good. Lars is very, very far away from where we were. Uh, oh, that's interesting though. Hang on. Can we mine that? If we get the pickaxe out, can we get the copper ore out of that? Uh, pickaxe skill's gone up. That's quite good. Just keep whacking that thing. I imagine that's going to take a long time to fall apart. Um, okay, copper ore. That's quite good. Okay, so we've got some of that. Um, right, where are the nails? Because we were following the... Ah, there. Right, back onto the nail trail we go. Crikey, we are going very, very far away. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, we might as well get that while we're here. Just whack that with an axe. Then we'll pick it up and then carry on following the nails. But no, we can't do that because our pickaxe is broken. Okay, how do we make a new one? Was it C? Uh, stone pickaxe. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's make another one of those, please. This is the only one we can do now, I think, however, which is a bit of a nuisance. So back into five. Uh, right, yeah, whack this apart, pick up some stuff, and then, yeah, we'll try and find Lars, wherever he might be. Okay, a bit of a worrying sign just there with a skull and crossbones on it. Let's not go over there. Maybe it's quicksand or something, possibly. I'm not quite sure. However, I have lost track of the nails. I'm not quite sure where the nails... And there's one, there's one. Right, okay, we're going through here then. Oh, crikeys. Um, okay. It's all getting a bit Temple of Doom around here, but okay, we'll just keep going and hope that we don't come across anything that wants to, you know, kill us a bit. Uh, there's a camp over there, which could be quite good for us if we get a bit cold, but there are, oh, there are bandits around it. There's bandits. Okay, right. Go around them, tiptoe around there, because that would be bad. And where are the nails? Okay, I've lost the nails again. I can't see where the nails are. Is Chappie in the bandit camp? Is that where he's gone to? Because if he is, that is a little bit of a problem. Because we're in no position to take on bandits. We will get shot to death very quickly indeed. It says there how to lure opponents. Press G to lure your opponent. What opponent are we talking about? Is there an opponent? Have we got an opponent somewhere? Oh, there's a baddie there. But again, they've got a gun. We can't really fight against them right now because they've got firearms and we definitely don't have that. Um, I don't think, I don't think he's that way. I think we've lost the trail. We've followed it all this way and I'm not quite sure where the nails have gone. Um, are there any over here? Is it worth a little look over here? We're definitely in bandit country. I don't like it. We're going to get shot to death. I imagine, given that the door to his shot was kicked in, he's probably been captured by the bandits. I imagine that's the case. So, I mean, yeah, if we look around, can we see... Ah, there's somebody tied up. And there's a nail. Ah, right, okay, they are over there, look. Okay, that is a little bit of a problem. There's also a snake over there. How many bandits are there? There's quite a few of them. However, there is a gun there. Oh, somebody has said, what? Down there. Uh, oh, we're going to get cold. We're going to get really cold because it's night time now. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay. Right, so we're a bit cold. Um, there's a hat. Yeah, there is a gun. If we could grab that gun and then run away, that'd be quite good. Do you reckon we can do that? Can we grab that gun? Collect that gun. Inventory full. Well, of course it is. Obviously it would be when we need to pick up our first firearm. Uh, what can we drop? <laughs> um, anything? Can we drop? Uh, I mean, some charcoal. We can always make some more charcoal. That's fine. How do, how do we drop that? Just put it into the world. Okay, right, like that. Wonderful. Right, head back here. Sneaky, sneaky-like. Right, pick up a revolver. Okay, right, we've now got a shooty gun. Put that down into number two. Okay, so put that into number two. How is this? Right, press G to lure the opponent. Ah, we whistled. Okay, so they're going... They're running around like maniacs. Okay, can we can we get in? Oh, not like that. We can't. Okay, hang on a minute. <gasps> There's a hat. I want the hat. Okay, hang on. Collect that and untie you. Okay, so we've untied Lars. I don't think now is the time to have a chat with Lars because there are bandits around. However, um, I would like that hat. I, I do quite want the hat. What else can we drop? What can we drop that's not very exciting? Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. They're coming back. They're coming back. Possibly we should run away. Lars, wait there. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Bang. Oh, we've, we've not got any ammo. We're just going to have to go. No, that's not going to help. We're just going to have to try and hit you with this. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of close quarters going on. Uh, if we just keep doing a dance around him, maybe we can do it. No, we, we've, we've died a little bit there. We've died a little bit. 
<laughs> uh, where are we now? Uh, are we back where we started? We're right back where we started. I don't know if we've lost anything or not. I'm not quite sure. There is a big skull over there. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Uh, yeah, there was there was a clear gate and a path to where we needed to go right from the very start. Okay, right. I didn't notice that. That was not immediately obvious. Uh, let's go and warm up and have a chat with Annabelle and tell her about how we just died again a second time. Hey, Annabelle, do you know we just died again? And then mysteriously, we woke up over there. It's all a bit weird. Okay, so daytime's rolled around again. I think we have to go back and get Lars. So we untied Lars. I imagine maybe now he's been re-tied up, which is a bit of a nuisance. So I think we have to go and get him. Let's go and get Lars, shall we? Let's have another attempt to rescue Mr. Carpenter. Okay, we're being chased. We're being chased by a coyote, possibly something very angry looking that doesn't like us very much. Okay, can we equip our kind of thing there? And can we shoot at it? Out of ammo. Are we? I thought we had loads of ammo. I thought we had much in the way of ammunition. Oh, okay. When you die, you lose all the stuff in your inventory. You kind of keep your quick slot stuff, but everything else in your inventory is gone. Okay, and that's why it's got the marker on the screen to show you where you have to go to get it all back. Okay, right, I see, I see. Um, okay, let's try and get all our stuff back. And then also we'll try and rescue Chappie again. So he's over there, look. So we'll try and just be a bit more sneaky about this, maybe. He is untied, though, which is good. They haven't retied him back up, which is helpful. There's our mangled corpse, I imagine. So we're going to go and kind of pick up the stuff from there. Um, I think, then, if we hide in the grass over here and we do what we did before. So if we press G over there, so whistle. Oh, they're shooting at us already. <laughs> Okay, no, that wasn't the plan. I didn't want you to be shooting at me so soon. Uh, okay, hold to open. Can we ha take all that stuff? Right, there we go. Right, Lars. Hello, how are you? We're going to have the world's quickest chat. Okay, hang on. Talk to Lars. Um, Lars the carpenter. Oh, thank heavens. It's been horrible. I bet. Uh, people might come and shoot at us, by the way. You rescue Lars and he gave you a sawmill recipe. Hurrah, don't worry, you're safe now. Oh my, such a hero. I feel very safe. I wonder if they will be back. They will be. They're over there. Uh, I mean, that one's being injured. That one's being... I think that one's fighting a snake. Oh, this is quite exciting. We can just... Oh, that, that's less exciting. Less exciting is getting shot in the face. Uh, Lars, come back this way, Lars. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're a bit poisoned. You're not very well. I mean, could we possibly lean out and fire a thing at you? Can we fire a thing? Oh, hang on. That didn't work. Can we fire a rock at you? Oh, that does hardly any damage. That's rubbish against a bandit. Um, okay, hang on. Lars, we hadn't finished our conversation there. Do we Do we need to carry on having this chat? Are we going to die again? Right, talk again to Lars. Hi again. I have a tumble. I'll see you there. Right, okay. He's going to head home. Can we steal this horse? That's my question. <gasps> we can steal the horse with no legs. Oh, yes. I don't, there's a song which has something like that. Or something in the desert with a horse with no legs. Something like that. But anyway, there we go. We've got a horse with no legs. This is wonderful. Okay, we could sort of poodle about on our horse. I mean, that's it, isn't it? That's it. We've done the whole cowboy thing. But no, they had a hat. Uh, we need to drop a thing. Let's drop that stone. There was a hat up there, wasn't there? Hang on, hang on. We have unfinished business over there because they did have a proper hat over at their camp. Can we go and grab that? There's somebody, there's a, a skeleton there with an axe buried in its skull. That's a bit grim, isn't it? Um, yeah, where was the hat? It's on the floor just there, look. Can we, can we grab it? Can we pick up? How do we get off the horse? Okay, first things first, get off the horse. Okay, like that. And if we come round here, look, can we grab that hat? Collect <gasps> bandit hat. Okay, it's not a proper Wild West hat. It's a bandit hat. But if we equip it, oh yeah. Oh, yes, we've got a proper hat on. We're wearing an actual hat, not a bucket. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right now I think we can wander about the place. I mean, where do we go now? What have we got to do? We've got many things going on. Um, I mean, yeah, the runaway follow the tracks. Um, yeah, I kind of got confused with that. I mean, is it worth just doing that? We'll follow that quest. Look, let's go and follow the tracks back at the ranch, shall we? Um, and then, yeah, we might have to wait for Lars to get back to the settlement or whatever. But at least we can make a sawmill, all of our very own. Oh, we're being chased by that thing again. <laughs> 
Quickly, horse, run, run away from the terrifying thing. I think we'll be okay. It's not going to chase us all that way. There we go, wonderful. Right, let's make our way back to the camp, shall we? I think we fell through a hole in the map. I was just galloping along on the horse very happily indeed. And then we sort of fell through a hole, I think, in the world and then died. We weren't near the edge of a cliff, I don't think. We weren't near the edge of anything. We just sort of fell through the map, I think. I mean, okay, bad things. We've lost our horse, which is a bit of a shame. Bad thing number two, we've lost our hat. So we went to all that effort to get the horse and the hat, and now we've got neither of them. Which is, I will admit, a little bit of a nuisance. In fact, we're only over in that direction, look. Can we go and try and retrieve our body? Can we go and try and get all our stuff back again, again? I'm not quite sure. Let's go and just run over in that direction and see if we can find where we died this time round. Okay, apparently we died there. I mean, we didn't die there because we were happily just galloping along here. We we're just going along here and it was all fine. So I don't quite know what happened there. However, hold to open, take all our things again and put the hat back on. Okay, right, this is good. At least we have the hat back. That's some good news. Annabelle, look at my amazing hat. Look at it, it's a proper hat. I'm not wearing a bucket anymore. I'm wearing an actual proper Wild West hat. Although looking at it, it does seem a little bit more sort of like a mobster hat. Like some sort of gangster in Chicago might be wearing that more than somebody out here in the Wild West. But you know what? Whatever the case, it's still a wonderful hat and it's better than an upside down bucket. Which did have its charms, I suppose. But I think this hat is much better. Still no horse, but... I think if we follow these tracks, we might be able to rectify that problem. Because if we look at the tracks there, which I think are the ones that we're supposed to be following, then uh, yeah, they're definitely horseshoe shaped. So possibly there, look, maybe if we follow these, we can get a horse, which would be wonderful. The only thing is, where are the tracks? Down here, look, this is good. There's something there. What's that? What is that just there? Oh, it's just a tiny piece of rock in the desert that we don't need to care about. Okay, right, ignoring the piece of rock in the desert. Uh, right, the tracks are down here. Come on, where's our horse? Where's our horse? It's got to be down here somewhere. Uh, okay, right, and along here a bit. Let's keep following the tracks. There's a horse. Oh, and the horse is called Rosie. Oh, the horse is Rosie. I remember you. Come on, girl. Let's get you home. Oh, we've got Rosie the horse. Oh, that's brilliant. Can Rosie... Oh, Rosie did some splashing around. That is wonderful. Rosie, we're going to go back and introduce you to Annabelle. And hopefully won't, we won't fall to the map with you. Hopefully we can just, you know, make our way back normally. Hang on, we're in this direction. Look, Annabelle, look, I've got a hat and a horse now. Runaway Rosie is back, which is wonderful. There we go. Quest log updated. And I think with that done, now that we've got our very own horse back at the ranch... I think we wrap things up for now. That little look at Don't Die in the West, which unfortunately we did not manage to do. We died, what, three times possibly out in the West? Was it three times? I think it might have been three times. So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of dying out in the West. But do you know what? That's okay. We were just getting used to it. I'm not familiar with life out here in the West. So I think dying three times out here isn't too bad at all. But yeah, I think we have had a pretty good look at the game. See what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And I can see what they're doing with this. I quite like it. It's sort of, um, it's a great big Wild West crafting adventure, which is quite brutal at points. I mean, you know, when you try and take on the bandits... You are very, very underpowered right now. I don't know how long we'd have to play to get our own kind of firearm ready and, you know, sort of bullets and such like to try to fight back. But at the moment, if we try and take on the bandits, we're just completely overpowered. We've got no chance at all, which we have seen, of course. So, um, yeah, quite interesting game. I like it. I like the idea. I like the sort of the fact that it is... You know, a fairly, I mean, we haven't had to eat or anything, but in terms of the combat, it is quite sort of, you know, brutal, I would say. But, um, but yeah, it's got this kind of wonderful, very charming art style to it. It's got these kind of little sort of characters and people that haven't got any legs, and they kind of sort of, you know, weeble around the place, for lack of a better word. They sort of, you know, they weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. These are a bit sort of weebly, these people. And I think that's quite good. I like that. I do quite like that. It's got a charming sort of, you know, charming visual style to it. But in the end, oh. Hang on, that's trying to set fire to itself. But, uh, but yeah, in the end, it is, you know, it's a, it's a Wild West survival game. Of course, yeah, it's only a sort of uh, a very early version. So yeah, food and stuff isn't in the game just yet. So I imagine in future versions, you'll have to eat and drink and all that kind of stuff. Rosie the horse is, um, is currently setting herself on fire. Rosie? No, no. Oh, no, I don't want to sit on the chair. <laughs> Hang on, I want to mount the horse. 
Rosie's destroyed the thing. Hang on. Mount. Mount the hall. I can't get on the... Now I'm on fire. Okay, it wasn't supposed to end like this. Rosie, <laughs> Rosie, you've, you've taken fire from the campfire and set fire to one of the wooden seats. And you're on fire yourself. And I can't put... Right, now, oh, now I'm on fire again. <laughs> right, run around, run around. I was supposed to be wrapping things up. I think Rosie the horse might possibly die. We've just rescued Rosie the horse. And Rosie the horse is now potentially going to die. Okay. Ro this It hasn't ended well. Don't die in the West, Rosie. You're not supposed to die. Okay, right. So, uh, Rosie the horse is dead and also has um, has burnt one of our little seats apart. I mean, yeah, it, it hasn't ended well, has it? Never mind. I mean, yeah, at least we've got we've got some meat, possibly, from Rosie. Oh, Rosie. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to end like this. I was supposed to give a lovely, charming bit saying, yeah, you know, it's a challenging game, but it looks amazing. Um, but yeah, so, okay, right. There's fire physics then. There's fire physics in the game. Things can set fire to other things, including ourselves and horses, as we've just seen. So, yeah, I think with that done, we'll wrap things up. I think maybe when this game is a little bit sort of more developed and when you know, we know that there's going to be more content and such, maybe when it goes into early access at the end of the year, we might well come back to this. Because I can see this being quite a big, sort of, quite a big, exciting, long adventure. Because, I mean, yeah, we've done very little, really. We've not built any kind of, sort of, uh, resident stuff. We've built a campfire and a seat and stuff and a box for some things. But we've not really done too much in the way of building or repairing the, sort of, ranch or whatever. In fact, all we've done is rescue a carpenter, die a bit, and then watch our horse set themselves on fire to death. So, um, so yeah, I think, yeah, we might well come back to it when it's a little bit more developed and such like. I think maybe at the start, possibly a slight hint of a tutorial might be quite useful, just to sort of point us in vaguely the right direction, because I did not go in at all the right direction at the start. But there we go, there we go. We might come back to it at some point in the future. I do not know. But yeah, we'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Cunic, your time is now. And you have missed, Cunic. <laughs> this is this is unacceptable, Cunic. An Ashes caravan has been ambushed by man-hunting chinchillas. <laughs> Are you going to land on my potatoes? <laughs> that is just not the done thing. Oh, there's a lot of them. One, two, three. These guys have got amazing hair. I'm delighted that we've actually done something and it's worked.